everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how I made this oversized cable. Quite a few people asked me how I made these cables after watching my previous video. If you haven't watched it, I left a link in the description. I hope you will enjoy this video and I cannot wait to hear your thoughts. Each cable is formed out of two panels. After knitting and pressing your panels, measure them. I will measure them in half as they are quite long and they won't fit on my machine. I am marking the center of my panels on both sides. My panel is 57 cm long, so I'm measuring this distance on the machine. I am linking them on the machine so they become a tube. You can sew them by hand or use a linker if you have one. In my opinion, linking on the machine if you don't have a linker is the best alternative. It will give you a strong and structured finish and it is easy to respect your measurements. Attach the other side. Depends on the structure of your panel if you need to make it in a tube. I find that knitting a thin panel on a single bed domestic doesn't look so nice, it normally curls, so if you don't have a double bed this is probably the best technique for you. only thing left to do is to give it a nice tight cast off. Turn your tube on the right side. If you want a really thin cable, I would recommend sewing it on the right side as it would be very hard, if not impossible, to turn it the right side. Trust me, I've done it before. Crochet the edge of each panel. This could serve as a design feature if doing it in a contrast yarn, but it will also give you the base to attach another panel to the cable. This is a 1.7mm crochet hook and I'm crocheting every other stitch. Just make sure you are going in the same stitch in order to have a nice straight edge.
Start twisting the cable and pin as you go along. Make sure the panels are sitting flat. thing left to do is to sew the cable. I am using the same yarn I used for the crochet edge. Sew the wrong side going from one side to another, making sure the stitch won't be visible on the right side. The most important is stitching nicely the part where your crochet edges meet on the right side. And here's our cable ready to be part of an amazing new project. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you will give it a try as I'm so curious to see how you will use it in your own project. My name is Elena and I'll see you next time.